Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Britt Brings at Home, if this is your first time here. If not, welcome back. Thanks for coming back to watch another video. So now it's time to clean the mudroom. The mudroom is right around the corner here. I'm gonna clean the mudroom and this hallway right here. So I'm gonna start the same way I clean the linen closet and the entryway. I'm gonna start by wiping down the walls and the baseboards with a mixture of hot water and a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. So I didn't show you what the Dr. Bronner's looks like but it's called Dr. Bronner's Pure Cast Style Liquid Soap, and I love it. It can be used for so many things. It can be used to clean your body, your face, your hair. It can be used around the home for all your cleaning needs, basically. Um, you can clean dishes with it, clean your laundry with it, clean surfaces, all kinds of things. And it is a concentrate, so you dilute it. So a big bottle, it's a 32 ounce bottle and it lasts forever. <laughs> I have it in the peppermint scent, which you will see later on in the video, but it smells so good. And there's not any artificial fragrances. It is all natural ingredients. So I just fill up a big bowl with warm water and just about a teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's. It doesn't need a whole lot because like I said, it is a concentrate. So you dilute it way down and a little goes a long way with this stuff. And I use a microfiber cloth and I just dip it in the soapy water and I wring it out and get to town wiping the walls. And so there is kind of a lot of wall space here in this hallway in the mudroom. So the majority of my time cleaning and organizing the mudroom is just cleaning the walls. I always clean the walls in every room once a year. If they need to be cleaned more throughout the year, then I'll kind of go through and clean any fingerprints off, any dirt, smudges or anything, any food that may be on the walls. But yeah, there can get, especially if you have kids, there can be a lot of fingerprints and dirt marks and all kinds of things on the walls. We have a dog, a dog named Daisy. She's a German short hair pointer and she sheds white hair. So there's a lot of little white hairs wherever she goes, especially there around her cage. So make sure you do clean your walls once a year. And while you're doing that, look for any spots that may need to be repainted. My husband repainted all the walls in our house a few years ago with a better quality paint than what was originally on the walls. And this paint, I love it because I can clean the walls, I can scrub any marks off the walls, and the paint does not rub off like the previous paint did. So I forget what it was called. I think it was Valspar. It was one of the higher quality paints that they offer. But yeah, look through and see if there's any spots that need to be touched up. And then once you're done cleaning, you can go through and touch up any marks in the walls that aren't coming off with the soapy water that you need to just go ahead and paint over.
I told you guys that the majority of time spent deep cleaning and organizing the mudroom is cleaning the walls. But I'm finally done cleaning the walls and I am moving on to cleaning the doors and the trim around the doors and then I will clean the baseboards next. And on my blog, BrittBringsItHome.com, I have a deep cleaning schedule that you can print off and follow along with me. Cleaning and organizing the mudroom is part of September's cleaning jobs along with the linen closet, the foyer, and the pantry. But on my schedule, I have cleaning the walls and the baseboards for February and cleaning the doors was in March. However, if you did not clean the walls and the baseboards and the doors in your house earlier this year, go ahead and do that now. I did not follow my own deep cleaning schedule earlier this year. I did not clean the walls and the baseboards and the doors in my home yet. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I was dealing with a lot of fatigue, um, which stemmed from some hormonal imbalance. I'll have to share about that later. But I am feeling so much better now. I have way more energy than I did last year and the beginning of this year. So now I am tackling some of those deep cleaning jobs that I did not get done earlier this year. So as I'm organizing and cleaning each room in my home now, I'm going ahead and wiping down the walls and the baseboards and doors in those rooms. So if you want to follow my deep cleaning schedule along with me, I will put the link to that post down below on my blog. And like I said, you can download the cleaning schedule, print it off and customize it how you want to cross out any jobs that don't apply to you, add in any extra cleaning jobs that you need to do to make your home nice and clean and organized and jump in the cleaning fun with me. organize a space I like to get everything that I can out of the space and clean it wipe everything down and then put everything back where it was neatly and in an organized way and only the things that I want and need and will use with the mudroom it's a little bit difficult because I just I have these two big pieces of furniture I have this bench with baskets where we store some of our shoes and then I have the dog's cage. So I did not carry them out of the mudroom. I just kind of maneuver them around, move them over to the side and clean the area where they were sitting and then move them back over. And so it's a lot of maneuvering furniture back and forth while I clean the walls and the baseboards and the floors behind them. walls, the trim, the baseboards, and the doors. Now it is time to clean the floors. So I'm going through and sweeping the floors really well. Again, maneuvering the 
dog's cage and the bench and sweeping behind them. And you will see in just a minute how nasty it is behind that bench. That's why it is so important to at least once a year move your furniture and actually clean the floor where the furniture is sitting because it can get pretty gross, especially when you have a dog and when you live where there is a lot of sand and the dog and kids track sand in the house. So I am sweeping the floors and then I will go through and mop the floors as well. And to mop the floors, I use a shark steam mop and I love it because it doesn't use any harsh chemicals, nothing that causes allergies or asthma or anything like that. All it is is water. And I like to add a little bit of lemon essential oil to the water and it just adds a nice, clean, fresh scent. And it also helps to disinfect and polish the floor. And I love it because all it is is water and if you want to add essential oils to it and it creates steam and it doesn't actually leave your floor soaking wet like using a mop and a bucket of water would it uses steam to clean the floor so it's hot and it works really well at removing any food or dirt or whatever is on your floor so I love it it works really well for us I've been using it for several years now and I will put the link to one down below if you want to check it out for yourself. So in this bench there are three baskets where we store our shoes. So my husband has one basket, I have one, and our kids have one. And obviously we do not store all of our shoes in here. It's just nice to have one or two pairs of shoes in the bench where whenever we're walking outside real quick for something we can just throw on a pair of shoes that aren't necessarily the most fashionable shoes but good shoes for just running outside real quick so I have a pair of like clogs and a pair of flip-flops I did have a pair of boots in there but I got rid of them they were some old boots I've had for probably 15 years and I don't even remember the last time I wore them, so I knew it was time to get rid of them. The mudroom is where we enter our home most often. We don't use our front door and our back door that often. When we come into our house, we enter through the garage and go into the mudroom. So the mudroom gets a lot of traffic. So it's a great place to kind of drop your things when you enter your home. So we have hooks hanging up and that's where I always put my purse when I come inside like I said we have the bench with baskets where we can put our shoes my husband puts his bag that he takes to work on the bench I also like to have a calendar on the wall in the mudroom to write down any important dates any doctors or dentist appointments birthdays all of that and then I have a cork board where I pin up my deep cleaning schedule for the home and also my weekly cleaning schedule. And then also any important messages, notes that we need to remember. And then I have some family photos hanging up just to add a little bit of joy when we walk by and we see the pictures of our loved ones. I also have hanging up on the wall above my dog's cage, I have a chalkboard where I like to write verses that I want to be reminded of or just inspirational quotes or anything important that I want to read on a daily basis and be reminded of. Since you go through your mudroom going in and out of your house many times a week, it's a great like command center in your house to have important things that you need to remember. So think of how you can make your mudroom like a drop zone for setting things when you enter the home before you actually put them where they're supposed to go and how you can make a little command center in your home for important things that you need to remember. And then what can you add to it to add a little bit of spark and a little bit of joy? All right, so I'm done cleaning my mudroom and the hallway around the corner there. I cleaned the walls, the baseboards, I cleaned the floors really well. I cleaned the bench here 
and the dog's cage dusted this off and that's about it not a whole lot of stuff here to organize so go out and do the same thing go organize your linen closet entryway foyer and your mudroom if you have one whatever areas of your home that you enter into your home and let me know how it goes for you let me know down below in the comments you can take some before and after pictures and put them on instagram and tag me at brick brings at home and hashtag with bbih deep cleaning i can't wait to see how the deep cleaning is going for you so that's it for today make sure you subscribe so you stay up to date on my new videos Next time I'll be organizing and deep cleaning the pantry and that's one of my favorites. From my home to yours, see you next time.